Sepp Blatter has fallen. For the moment, yes, for 90 days. Uh, those That 90 days suspension is, is immediate. It happens right now. He is banned from all football-related activities as the head of world football. Uh, the head of European football, Michel Platini, is down, and the number two of world football, Jerome Valk, is also down. Now, all of these bans could be extended for a further 45 days on top of this 90-day period, although we are expecting all three men to challenge these uh, well, th these suspensions. Uh one man who was also hoping to throw his name into the ring for the FIFA presidential candidacy back in February, uh, Chung Mong Soon, Chung Mong Jun rather, has been banned for six years and fined 90,000 euros. Now, all of this comes down to a uh, investigation by the FIFA's ethics committee, and that in it itself came after the Swiss Attorney General opened criminal proceedings against Sepp Blatter and members of FIFA last month. Now, this is separate, again, from US authorities who have their own investigation into FIFA at the moment. Uh, Sepp Blatter himself is uh, suspected of criminal mismanagement. Now, this comes down to payments to Jack Warner where they gave him the rights to the uh, World Cup uh, to host the, for the TV rights and then he sold them for millions of dollars. He, Jack Warner himself, a former member of CONCACAF, has been banned from all football activities for life now. Uh, Sir Blatter has always uh, said uh, maintained his innocence with this. The second part of this is payments to Michelle Platini, the UEFA president, relating to 1.8 million euros dating back nine years. So he was paid for work done in 2002-2003, uh, but only got payment for that in 2011. Now, neither party has been able to explain why that would be the case, uh, although they both say that they are looking for an opportunity to fully tell the truth and that they have nothing uh, to uh, defend themselves against. Let's look more closely at Michelle Platini, who, for all intents and purposes, was the front runner to replace Sepp Blatter at the head of FIFA. What happens next for him? Yes, he is very much the front runner, and part of that is the backing he has from various European FAs, not uh, not least the English FA and the French FA, who have thoroughly backed him through all of these different UEFA and FIFA crises we've had over the past year or so. Uh, now he submitted his papers for the FIFA presidency uh, this morning, uh, and just hours later he has been suspended from all football activities. So he managed to get them in just under the red line there. Uh, now, he says he doesn't need to justify this 1.8 million euro payment and that he was entitled to it. Um, and he also says that this suspension is an attempt to damage his reputation ahead of the FIFA presidential elections in February. He is demanding an inquiry into the leak and the suspension itself because he says that these are just uh, a ruse, really, for his competitors to get one over on him uh, ahead of these elections. Now, it will mean a lot of discussions at FAs, not just in Europe, but around the world, as they try and work out just who is a credible potential candidate for the next FIFA job. Well, very briefly, just who might that be? Well, uh, we've got the man who's replacing Platini right away is Issa Heitu, who is the head of African football right now. He uh, is the senior vice president at uh, FIFA and the president of the Confedera Confederation of African Football. But he himself has also been linked to corruption in the past, not least uh, accepting a $1.5 million bribe from Qatar for the 2022 World Cup. Although, again, he has uh, claimed, uh, maintained his innocence throughout those allegations. All right, Mark, thank you for that. I do not know a lot about football, but that does sound like a big mess. So thank you for <laughs> keeping an eye on it, Mark Thompson, for us.